lovely people how are you doing guys yep it's true <laughs> the title is true we are selling our beloved home in Cuddy. some of you may be wondering why we're selling up and we shall explain more after the tour but i do want to take this moment to share our huge appreciation for all of you beautiful viewers out there who have supported us and watched us navigate this new experience moving on to the waters we truly do thank you Right, let's give you a little nosy around our gorgeous floating home, Inca. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies in advance, it is blowing a gale today. We have tried to film for the past couple of weeks, but we've had no great weather in the UK. So, let's do this. Inca is our 60 foot narrowboat, built in 1989 with a cruiser stern. We've went for a cruiser stern because it gives us more outdoor space. We can be a bit more sociable, move around and hang outside here when we're cruising the boat and you can have a bit of company and not be over on your own. Over here, these bad boys are gas lockers. This is our main gas bottle and then in there we've got a full spare gas bottle. Over here we've got the dash panels and ignition and this is the throttle. This is the tiller, this is how we steer the boat. Just behind the tiller armlet is where we fill up our diesel. On the deck here we've got two compartments. This one here houses the starter battery and most of my tools. This might like my little tool shed area. And this one, this is the engine bay. We pull this up and we'll have a little look under here, shall we? So this old girl is still the original engine. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a 33 horsepower Vetus engine. Ever so reliable. We've got loads of storage on either side of this engine bay as well and i keep pols and bits and bobs down there too so super handy nice space down here is the shoreline hookup this is where you would want to attach your generator to charge your batteries or plug into a marina when you're at a marina for your electric and this is obviously the door to get into our lovely home but we'll take you there in just a minute one of the lovely things we did like about inca was the fact that it's got loads of big windows letting in so much light. Walking along the boat, you can see we've got decking on top. This is my personal favorite area. You've seen on our vlogs that we've had some sunset cocktails, a bit of wine, some picnics. On the roof. Perfect little spot on the roof. And as you can see these, it's hard to miss them. We've got <laughs> two big solar panels. They're 400 watt each, HC perk, all black solar panels. And finally, we've got the bow at the front of the boat. It's a very cute little area, this. It's quite a romantic spot, I have to admit. On top, you can see that we've got our Wi-Fi aerial. That obviously gives us good Wi-Fi inside. Lovely little sun canopy. That's right, sun canopy or rain canopy. That's true, <laughs> for right now. So the entire front of this bow is our water tank. That is a thousand litres, so it's so much bigger than most standard boats actually. Yeah, most narrow boats are 450, 450 litres and ours is over double that, which is yeah, amazing. Yeah, so super handy. In the front here, we've got our hoses and we've got this lovely little seat here. I don't know why, but we haven't got one this side. But all it needs is a couple more bits of wood and then you're sorted. Well, that's pretty much it for the outside of the boat. Let's head on inside. I'll take the camera now and Ola, you can show them around. Whee! Let's go. So here we are in our lovely kitchen or as they say in the boating community, in the galley. So we've come through from the stern, down these steps, and we arrive in the kitchen. To the side here, this is where we keep all of our coats, which is particularly important at this time of year because it rains a lot in the UK, and then we can grab our raincoats just before we step outside onto the stern to cruise the boat. Down here, we've got a bit more storage where we store our wet back, scarves, gloves, any other bits and bobs, wellies as well, just to try and keep up this end of the boat to stop ourselves from moving mud all through. 
And on this side, we have a very exciting area. This is where all of our electrics have been installed. So we've got our Victron MultiPlus Inverter 3000. Down here, we've got our Smart Solar. Down the bottom here, we've got our Orion DC to DC charger. And then down here, we've got our Lynx Power 1000. This is also the area that we store our windlasses. We've got our axes here, head torches. This is where all of our keys stay so we know that where our keys are whenever we need them. And then we've got our fuse box up here, which also has all of our switches to help us isolate various areas of the boat. So the kitchen, bathroom, saloon, 12 volt sockets, etc. So with our MultiPlus, we got this installed since we bought the boat. We're very happy with it. It helps us turn our 12 volt power system, which was already in, which was already installed in the boat when we bought it, to a three pin plug system. So we can do anything from uh, running a washing machine now, to using a hairdryer to dry our hair, like all of these quite incredible luxuries that you would get in a house, which you don't normally get in a boat. We're very fortunate to be able to do that on ours. We also have two isolation switches, one here and one to my right here also. And our whole electrical system has actually been professionally installed by a professional electrician. Everything from everything I've just spoken to you about there to our incredible batteries, which we're about to show you, and the solar on our roof. So before we jump into the batteries, because Josh is currently sitting on the bench in which they're housed underneath here, we have our incredible diesel heater. So this is something that we didn't really realize how much we were gonna love until we fired it up for the first time. So this system is incredible. It runs our central heating through the boat. We have two radiators, one in our bedroom, one in the lounge room. And then we've also got this, obviously this system here, the hot plate on the top here, which heats this room and then the rest of the boat. So it keeps, it's basically a central heating system that takes the edge off throughout like the coldest times in winter, it's incredible. And it's got a little switch around the side here which helps you turn up the heat and turn down the heat so you can decide how hot you want it. The diesel comes directly from the diesel tank that we have, which we use for the boat, so we don't have to have two separate systems. They're all in one, which is quite incredible. One of my favorite things about the diesel heater is that in the winter, we've got our kettle on the top here, which means that we always have hot water. As you guys know, I love tea. I've managed to get Josh hooked on tea, almost hooked. Do you love tea? You love tea, Josh. <laughs> I do love a good tea occasionally, <laughs> not as much as you mind. But yeah, so we've got this here always ready, always got the hot water ready. And it's also great because in the winter we like to make soups and stews, so we can also keep that going on the top of the, the stove as well when the kettle's not needing to be used as often. Underneath we've got a little bit of storage in here, which is where we keep basically all of our tools. This is our toolbox area. And then just to the side of the diesel heater, we have even more storage. You'll see this is quite a theme that runs through the boat. We have quite a lot of storage, which is amazing. Now this is uh, one of my favorite features of the boat. This this is an original feature of what would have been included in a boatman's cabin. So this is a storage area, but also doubles as a table. So if I jump on this side, you can see that we use it to store lots of our food. We've also got like another little sort of arty tool section down here, which also has the butter in it, which we were hiding uh, <laughs> for today. So as you can see here, Josh is using the table. <laughs> Having a little oh, cup of tea. Thirsty work filming. Yeah, we often have breakfast here together because there's enough space for two people to sit side by side. And actually, this is a really good spot where I like to work separately away from Ulla. So Ulla will be the completely other side of the boat. And I've got my own little study area here. I can set up the laptop and do my own work. Exactly, that's a really good point. So you can see that does just fold away really nicely there. And as I was saying, underneath here, we have more storage, we've got a drawer and then another massive, really deep cupboard as well. Did you want to open that drawer, Josh? And then, yeah, another little cupboard. Actually, it's quite a large cupboard, which we're, we use for food storage and chucking random things when we're filming tour videos of our boat. <laughs> okay, so this is the bench area, as Josh was demonstrating before. Big enough for two people, but underneath it, we have our lithium batteries. So when we lift up this storage area, again, there's lots of space to store things in here. We have two 320 amp hour lithium batteries, which powers all of our electrical needs and more. And they're stored in here. Okay. So 
This is where a lot of the magic happens. I love to cook, so it's actually really cool to have a kitchen that functions as well as ours does. We've got lots of surface area to be able to prepare food in. We have our 12 volt fridge and freezer by Montpellier. And we've also got our Montpellier oven and grill. So this is an oven and grill here. This is an oven. And then we've got our four her hobs on the top. A lovely thing about this kitchen as well is we have a Belfast sink, so it's really nice and deep to be able to put loads of washing up in when you can't be bothered to wash up immediately, but also to be able to wash all kinds of things in, which you may need to do when you live on a boat. And a great thing that you'll notice throughout our boat as well is that we've got loads of windows, so we've always got loads of light coming in. So in the kitchen, we've got a window here. We've also got a window to the side here, and then plenty more running throughout the boat. Another really great thing about this boat is that we've got walnut style flooring that runs throughout, which is one of the things that sold it to us when we bought this boat. It's just absolutely gorgeous. In the winter, we do have our sheepskin rugs and a few other rugs running throughout just to take the edge off so that we don't have to wear slippers all the time. But it's, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So we've also got loads of cupboards and drawers, so plenty more storage in the kitchen. So another drawer here, cupboards running all along, another drawer, drawer, cupboard. And to the side here, we've got this little shelving area where we like to keep wine, spirits, I love myself some whiskey. So we've got whiskey on this shelf here, wine glasses and other random bits and bobs down there. And next to the shelving that we have here, we've got a good example of the different plugs that we have running out throughout the boat. We've got our 240 volt plugs, which have their own individual switches to turn them on and off. And then we've got our 12 volt fast charging ports as well. And again, they have their own on and off switches too. So that was a little tour of the kitchen. And next is our bedroom, which is this way. Okay, so here we are in our bedroom. This is our bed, <laughs> our very comfy bed. Um, to the side here we have our own individual storage areas. So Josh has got one over that side. And this is where I store all of my clothes um, and some of the books that I'm currently dipping into at the moment. And then we've also got identical on both sides. Another storage area here which we keep our suitcases in and random bits and bobs that we don't need to access all the time individually on both sides. One radiator here which I mentioned to you before, the other one is in the lounge room. One thing that I forgot to mention before is that our boat has spotlights throughout which is brilliant because they all have their own individual switches. So if you want to save electricity, which is obviously always a really good idea, we've got these individual switches for every single spotlight on the boat, so they can be controlled independently or via a switch on the side of the wall, which then will switch off the lights for the whole entire room itself, which is pretty cool. And this is our bed. And I like to use this area as obviously as our bed for bedtime, but also as another area to sit in during the day if we want to read books, work on laptops, have a snooze whatever yeah it's quite nice because we put our pillows up against the wall this way so we can actually use it as an area to sit in and read so it's a nice massive couch really and on this side of the bed we have Josh's storage area so his clothes some of my pottery sorry Josh tend to take over sometimes um, bedside lamp which is running off 240 volts then we've got this oh, lovely picture that was taken of us when we were filmed for a TV show, which we'll tell you more about very soon. And underneath the bed, we have our water filters, which filter the water that comes out of our taps. We also have our immersion tank. Is that what it's called? A calorifier. Calorifier tank. Which maybe you should say that bit. Yeah. Hello, me behind the camera. Let me turn it to you then, so you can say it. So yeah, underneath, like Ola said, is our water setup. And our water setup consists of filters to filter the water we've got a chlorophyll which is a big tank that stores hot water in it expansion tank and a uh, water pump and, and the water that. pump and that's that yeah yeah and this side is all storage which is really nice so we keep our summer clothes when it's winter in here and our winter clothes when it's summer vice versa a nice thing that also that we did when we bought the boat is we created this extension here which can be pulled out to extend the bed when you want to have extra extra space 
Also, when we bought the boat, we didn't have this storage on either side of the bed. There was a cupboard that um, extended to here, which was basically unusable because the doors opened here and you couldn't get into the cupboard. So what we did was we removed the cupboard. You may have seen that from a few episodes, quite a few episodes back. And we've installed these storage shelves, which completely changed our lives on the boat. And yeah, we're very happy with them. Now, onto the bathroom. I've got to mention another window just there and then another one as we're walking down the hallway on our way to the bathroom another window and this is the bathroom right so here we are in our bathroom which we really really love when we moved in it didn't look anything like this and we've had lots of different ideas as to how we wanted it to look over time but we actually ended up settling on this really kind of zen feeling with this beautiful green wall which continues with uh, along the the bottom half of the wall down here which we're really happy about actually we've got this gorgeous sink which we probably spent way too much money on um, and we ordered it way before we had finished the bathroom renovations but it's absolutely gorgeous it's got a solid marble top um, loads of storage in here uh, as you saw it's got these doors and then also more storage here with that lovely soft closing drawer gotta love that gorgeous little taps here then we've got this we brought this from our house actually we brought this over when we moved in just another storage area where we keep more of our bits and bobs in and a nice big mirror a little lamp in here as well if we ever need more light which brings me over to our washing machine, which was an absolutely incredible feat to finally get to use it. There's an episode of us, you know, really celebrating that, which we'll probably link around about here. But it's brilliant to be able to do your washing when you live on a boat, because sometimes you can be in the middle of nowhere and need clean clothes. So we've got this top loading washing machine, which runs off our epic power system. And yeah, it works like a dream. You don't even need the engine running for it. Yeah don't even need to run the engine to be able to run this baby. Now I am sitting on our toilet. So this toilet, and I mean, you, you may have seen a whole toilet ordeal uh, over many, many months of living on the boat. When we moved in, this toilet was not here. We had a, what are they called? A cassette toilet. A cassette toilet. And that was a bit of a nightmare to have to empty every few days. This is amazing. We have what's called a compost toilet. We bought this one ourselves. This is a separated toilet, so the wee goes in the front and your poo goes in the back. We use coconut core to use our composting material. It's got a carbon filter, which is in this side area here, and it's also got a fan, which means that there is absolutely no smell. It doesn't smell at all. And it's also a self-stirrer, so on the side here it's got a little switch, and when you push that, listen, it stirs itself, so you don't have to do anything. Go to the toilet, you press the button and you're done. So as I explained before, it has two parts to it. So we got the very posh version, which um, has this vanity cover, which you open with a little, little switch here on the side and it opens and closes. So yeah, your number twos or your poos go in here and your wee down there. And uh, it's a soft close as well. <gasps> Fancy, fancy loo. And then just to the side here, near the toilet room spray and a little bit of incense, you never know. <laughs> We've got our gulper, which we use when we're having a shower, which brings me on to our shower area, which is right behind here. So, this is it. <laughs> it's pretty spacious, so when you get in, you know, you've got, you've got space to move around, wash your hair and all that jazz. And yeah, you've got your temperature control and your, what's it called? How fast the water comes out, the pressure, <laughs> the water pressure. And that is that, that is the shower. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we also have a frosted porthole here, so no one can look in whilst you're getting naked and having a shower. Okay, lounge room time. <laughs> our lounge room which is also our dining room everything room really I would say this is probably and I would 
probably say it's Josh's as well. It's my favourite room on the boat. Yeah, definitely it, my favourite area. Yeah, it's such a lovely space because it's so open. It, it, it's really quite lovely. So, so there's actually so much to say about this room, so I'm going to really try and remember to say it all. So first of all, when you first come into the lounge room, you have our dinette area here. So it's space enough for four people to sit comfortably and have breakfast, lunch or dinner at. Um, it's a lovely spot to work at as well because you've got this gorgeous hatch here that opens up and you get a beautiful view of the canal whilst you're sitting here working on your laptop or eating lunch or whatever. The great thing about this dinette, as all dinettes do, they turn into a bed. So when we've got guests coming to stay, we can lower this table, rearrange the cushions and it turns into a double bed. A great thing about the dinette as well is both seats are storage areas. So underneath these seats they open up and on this side we store all of our linen, towels and other bits and bobs. And here we store my sewing machine, arty bits, camera stuff and plenty of other things as well. So we've got another window here to the side. We have a hatch here, so we have hatches on both sides, so no matter which side of the canal you're moored at, you can open a hatch and see straight out to the canal, which is really, really nice. Just here we have a storage area to be able to hang herbs and plants that we're drying, that we find along the towpath and any walks that we go on. And it's also great because we've got another spare hook here, or when we take these off as well. In the winter this works as a really nice area to uh, dry wet clothing. So when you're out and about getting completely saturated on the towpath, you can come up, put your jacket on a coat hanger and hang it here to dry over the fire. So here we have our Morso Squirrel multi-fuel stove. So it takes both wood and coal. Now, as I said before, we have central heating on our boat, two radiators and a diesel heater. So we actually only really need to use this during the evenings when it gets really, really cold or on particularly freezing cold days in the winter time. Or when we're drying our clothes. Or when we're drying our clothes. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a fantastic placement as well because we are in our main living area so it's a nice cosy atmosphere in the evenings in here which is perfect. And also because it is set back a little bit from either end of the boat it helps heat the boat much more efficiently. So. Uh, this is probably my favourite spot to come and chill out on the boat. We've got a lovely pink couch. I don't know why we've got pink couch in the end, but we did. And I think it looks really quite lovely in here. We've got our sheepskin to keep it super cosy. And yeah, it's just a lovely spot to sort of hang out. You've got, again, more windows. Another window here, another one here, and these beautiful bifold doors, bay doors, I don't know, massive doors that open up onto the bow area. And then, I mean, in the summertime, that just lets through beautiful breeze all through the boat. And then you can, you know, sit on the step there, read a book there. It just becomes a really different space in the summer, but in the winter time, it's just super cozy. We've got a rug on the floor, again, walnut flooring all throughout. Bookcase, love my books. More storage in here where we store some of our incense. There is more. Crystals, all kinds of bits and bobs more storage over here and then we've also got a radiator that's our second radiator for central heating and in this corner over here we have our water gauge so we can see how much water we have and that's it i think that's it for the inside i actually forgot one other thing this area here which is like a multi-purpose space we use it to store camera gear we've got amp as well to amplify the guitars my classical josh's ukulele um, beautiful playing camera I bought from the Parisian market and then hiding behind the gorgeous camera is our modem because we obviously have the internet on the boat that's hidden back there so we don't have to look at it because it's not very beautiful and I think that that concludes the tour of our absolutely gorgeous boat what do you say Josh? I am definitely happy with that <laughs> That concludes the tour of our 60 foot narrowboat floating home Inca. We really hope that you've enjoyed having a little nosy around. We've enjoyed having you over. Yeah, we've been meaning to do this video for a really long time, so. Yeah, and we do feel quite achieved. We've, we've managed to accomplish a lot of DIY and make it feel really homely and uh, quite reflective of us. Yeah, exactly. So if any of you are serious at all about inquiring after Inca, if you're in a position to purchase a narrowboat and that's what you're hoping to do, 
please do get in touch with us because we'd love to hear from you. We've left a link in the description box down below to Apollo Dark where we've written the, the ad for her sale. And we'll also put a link on the screen now that you can click to be able to find that ad. In the ad you'll obviously find all of her details and specifications, much of what we've covered here, but written out for you to be able to see at a glance very easily. And lots of pictures and also of course the way to contact us should you be serious about maybe purchasing her. Definitely. And now for the juicy part. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why we're selling our boat and what's actually going on between us and our life. Well this year has actually opened up a few exciting opportunities for us both which means we'll be out of the UK for quite some time and unfortunately that means we're gonna have to sell our lovely home Inca because we won't be able to come back every two weeks to move her on our continuous cruising license we won't be in the country so it's not really possible for us to hold on to her anymore yeah and putting it in a marina just doesn't seem viable it's quite pointless if we're not going to be here yeah. so we want it to go to a new home for somebody like us that you know wants this experience or wants, wants to carry life. on the experience yeah. if they've already been on the waterways yeah. but and wants this lifestyle for themselves because i mean i think i can say speak for us both this definitely won't be the end of living on a boat for us we've really really mm. enjoyed it it's just that the nature of the things that we do with our time in, you know if, if i'm speaking for myself here i'm a photographer i'm a videographer and i um I do a lot of travel work and I've been given some great opportunities which means I'm going to be overseas a lot and yeah but I don't I don't think this is going to be the end of it living isn't. on a boat for us we've absolutely loved living on the boat so far I've loved it so much so that I'm uh, I want to really explore boating a lot more yeah. and take my boating experience from the inland waterways out to sea yeah, so, so I really want to start learning and do a lot of RYA courses and pursue being a skipper at sea yeah so stay tuned because you know we'll, we'll be sharing bits and bobs here and there to you all <laughs> it's definitely an adventure that's for sure so the adventure is definitely not over but we thank you so much for watching this video and for joining us regularly every Sunday or maybe... this isn't our last video by the way so when you watch this don't think that's the end we do have a few more videos to get out there to you and we will definitely announce to you when we'll be stopping putting YouTube videos out on a regular basis. But yeah, be sure to know that we will jump back onto this in the future. Yeah, definitely. I wanted to say that to the guys actually because it does sound like this yeah, is this the is end. not the end. There's there is plenty of other adventures coming up and we want to take you guys along with us. So stay tuned but to all of you out there who love our boat as much as we do and are interested in maybe purchasing her and would like to get in touch and have a look around get in touch using the link below and let's start a conversation definitely so sounds send, great sending you guys so much love thank you for watching and uh we'll see you in the next video Bye bye, bye.